Helen is Russian and looks like a pug dog. Dog Dogstoyevsky. <laughs> Helen's mother psychologically abused her throughout her childhood, primarily by incessant body shaming, which led to bulimia and overeating. And also, all of Helen's relationships have only lasted for three months. Blimey, she's worse at holding down a relationship than her food. Helen grew up in Siberia. The only place more cold and barren is Helen's mother's womb. Oh. Oh, she, no, she, no, she sounds like a right bitch. <laughs> uh, no, not you. You're great. <laughs> I'm not doing the compliment now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. First off, let me just say how happy I am to be battling somebody in my weight class. <laughs> um, what can I say about Joe Murphy that hasn't been said before? Well, Joe, that was concise. <laughs> <laughs> Russians are known for their great logistics. <laughs> <laughs> Helen is partially Jewish and Russian, so she's used to being roasted. When she was 18, Helen's mum told her she was partially Jewish, and Helen said, but I thought I was Russian. And her mum said, yeah, Russian to the cake aisle. Oh, what a negging bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Helen immediately celebrated her Jewish ancestry by getting tattooed and getting a degree in economics. <laughs> Demonstrates the only take what nobody else would want anyway. We <laughs> 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 Soviet Union held on to Poland longer than you can hold on to a relationship. Oh! Oh! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> goes on forever and it won't end. <laughs> uh, Helen's, dad died, Helen's dad died when she was 10 of pancreatic cancer. He was a genius programmer and an alcoholic. Uh, he was great at wiping the computer's memory and his own. <laughs> when, he, when he was on his deathbed, did he try switching him off and on again? <laughs> Helen has ADHD, which abbreviates to Ah, Dad has died! Creepy. 
Sorry. Helen has been doing comedy for six months and has been described by multiple people on the comedy circuit as being incredibly unlikable because of her stinging remarks. Blimey, what a KGB! <laughs> 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 Helen's day job is as a freelance management consultant. Strange. I thought her occupation was Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, what should drink? Um, all right, so, uh, Joe told me that he expects people to make fun of his baldness. Joe, the bald spot is not a big deal. It's what you do with the remaining hair that's the issue. <laughs> I lost my hair in the fire bombing of Kiev. <laughs> Helen refers to her new boyfriend as a Russian bear. That's because he likes it when she lies down and pretends to be dead. <laughs> uh, when Helen overate when she was a kid, she got so full her mother would call her the Russian doll. Damn! That was the last one! <laughs> yes, that was a total of, of 13. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> right. So, Joe has been doing comedy for nine years. That is longer than Adam Green has been judging Rose Battles. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to fix the results because she's a fucking Russian. <laughs> Yeah, um, he has clearly not achieved much, but uh, he's an acquired taste, and um, his comedy isn't universal, but his credit is, oh, but, um, <laughs> no, the thing is, like, he's been working really hard, right, and, uh, yeah, no, look, uh, yeah, for example, I, I'm not a hard worker, and talent without hard work is just a wasted genius. But hard work without talent is just a very busy failure. <laughs> <laughs>